Hello there. What's going on, YouTubers? So today, um, I suppose I found an uh, a great opportunity to, you know, to read you through, to um, to read you guys through the you know the Art of War by Sun Tzu. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's c still c c copyrighted uh, or not, but um, it it's uh, translated by um, Linnell Giles or um, Linnell um, Giles. Um, I, I I'm not sure if I pronounced his his um, his last name. Um, you know, right? Um, you know, I'm not sure if I pronounced his family name c correctly, since you know, I never, I never heard. You know, I I never heard. You know, um, um, anyone who's, you know, I've never heard a a a anyone saying that. <laughs> Um, that last name before, whose first language is um, English. So please, um, I beg your pardon if I mispronounced it. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, let, let's get to it. I, I might add some of my reviews and commentaries along the way so you know bear that in mind you know this is not exactly you know it, it's not a fully you know you know it's not fully about you know voicing or narrating a book you know but it's not you know i i, I suppose you know <laughs> um well, it's not exactly, you know, a session of narration, but it is still kind of, it is kind of that, kind of like that, you know, to a very large, you know, um, extent. Nevertheless, without further ado, let us begin. Let's see how far I, I, I can go with reading this book. So I shall include a link, you know, in the you know, in the description of the, this video. So for those who feel e interested, you can go to it and read it through yourself during your own time at, at your own pace. You know, so, I, you know, on, on the other hand, I would also like to take this opportunity to warm up a bit before I launch some more cold calls to, you know, back to Australia. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let us get to it. The Art of War by Sun Tzu, translated by Lanel Giles or Giles. Chapter one: Laying Plans. Sun Tzu said, "The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin." Hence, it is a subject of inquiry, which can, which can, on no account be neglected. The art of war, then, is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are, number one, the moral law, number two, heaven, number three, earth. Number four, the commander. Number five, method and discipline. Please allow me to, to repeat that, you know, since, you know, I, can't, I would like to, uh, you know, to, to give some positive and constructive reinforcement to the, to the speech pattern I managed to 
generate a couple of seconds ago without much stuttering. So, number four, these are the moral law. Number two, heaven. Number three, earth. Number four, the commander. Number five, method and discipline. These are number one, the moral law. Number two, heaven. Number three, earth. Number four, the commander. You know, since I, I tend to stutter when I kind of, you know, so for forcefully and consciously try to say the K consonant, <laughs> you know. So yeah, the commander or the commander in the American accent. What's the so-called standard American accent? You know, you say that like this: the commander, the commander, in, in instead of commander, you know, instead of commander. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Let's resume. Um, the moral, the moral law causes the people to be in complete accord with their ruler, so that they will follow. So, so that they will follow him regardless of their lives, undismayed by any danger. Heaven signifies night and day, cold and heat, times and seasons. Earth, in, earth comprises distances, great and small, danger and security, open ground and narrow passes, the chances of life and death. The commander stands for the the commander um, um, the commander stands for the virtues of wisdom sincerely sincerity you know I, I but it here it writes sincerely well that that has to be an an error you know a, ca a careless one you know yeah the the commander stands for the virtues of wisdom sincerity benevolence courage and strict and strictness by method and discipline are to be understood the marshalling of the army in its proper subdivisions the graduations of rank among the officers the maintenance of roads by which supplies may reach <coughs> the army my, my, my earphone is dropped uh, okay, um, let me just get, excuse me for a sec, I need to get some, a fresh bottle of, of water to re-moisturize my throat and tongue, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Just um, put back a bottle of of Japanese um, coffee back to the freezer, you know, so that I can have some iced coffee late um, later. <clears throat> yeah. 
How, how about we switch on some music along the way? What do you guys reckon? Yeah, let's try to find some copyright free ones. You know, like last time what I, what I played, you know. Um, where is it? Time Alone with God, maybe this one. Okay. <clears throat> So, where were we? Yeah. The commander stands for the virtues of wisdom, sincerity, benevolence, courage, and strictness. By method and discipline are to be understood the marshalling of the army in its proper subdivisions, the graduations of rank among the officers, the maintenance of roads by which supplies may reach the army, and the control of military expenditure. These five heads should be familiar to every general. He who knows them will be victorious. He who knows them not will fail. Let's lower the volume a bit. So, so that my, you know, the, the music doesn't overshadow, you know, that, um, my, 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 my voice. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, where were we? Yeah. Therefore, in your deliberations, when seeking to determine the military conditions, let them be made the basis of a comparison. In this wise, which of um, which of the two sovereigns is imbued with the moral law? Which of the two generals has most ability? With whom lie the advantages derived from heaven and earth? On which side is discipline most rigorously enforced? Which army is stronger? On which side are officers and men more highly trained? In which army is there the greater constancy both in reward and punishment? I, I've never seen the word constancy, but I suppose it means the quality of being constant or consistent. I'm not sure. Let's check the dictionary. Uh, I'm checking Cambridge dictionary. Yeah, the quality of staying the same, not getting less or more. Yeah. Constancy. 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 But in American English, it's pronounced con. Con con constancy. 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 Yeah, it's constancy. 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 Yeah, I didn't get it wrong. I I didn't. Yeah, I got it right. Thank God. <laughs> oh, okay. So, when were we? Yeah, clause number fourteen. Of chapter one. By means of these seven considerations, I can forecast victory or defeat. The general that hearkens to my counsel and acts upon it will 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 conquer. Let such a one be retained in command. The general that hearkens not to my counsel nor acts upon it will suffer defeat. Let such a one be dismissed. While heading the profit of my counsel. Avail yourself also of any helpful circumstances over and beyond the ordinary rules. According to um, uh, according as circumstances are favorable, one should modify one's plans. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must seem inactive. When we are near, we must take the enemy believe. We must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make them. We must make him believe we are near. Well, the the enemies can be females and can be 
a group or or a multiple of groups or several groups or even after mu mu multitudes of human I individuals even robots you know even non-living you know organisms can 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 be your can be your enemies you know such such as viruses you know they they aren't usually considered living or, or, or organisms by by most scientists you know but you know they can pose some serious harm and danger yeah but you know yeah that that's that qualifies for another video you know the um the in depths the in depth the in-depth and insightful discussions into such topic will qualify for another video at another time. God's still willing, you know. So yeah, let's resume. Hold, um, hold out baits to in, to entice the enemy. Um, fame, disorder, fame, di fame, disorder, and crush him. I suppose fame here means uh, pose or pretend to have something or have not something. Uh, let's check the dictionary just in case. Fame. F E I G M. Fame. Yeah, I hit the jackpot. To print to pretend to have a particular feeling, problem, etc. Um, defined by Cambridge Dictionary. Yeah, for those who are interested in in learning more, you can go to dictionary.cambridge.org. Yeah, to learn more. Yeah, it's a verb to to pretend to have a feeling or a condition. Yeah, I hit the jackpot. Yeah, thank God. Good me. <laughs> Finally, I I I found a, a, a good me. So. After so long time of of you know running into a, a you know a, a, you know a, after having suffered from the condition of running into a, you know a, 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 a massively a stupid me on multiple on countless occasions in the past. Yeah, hold hold out baits to entice the enemy, fame disorder and crush him. If he is secure, you know that um that um in fact you know the previous clause reminds me of a of a, of a Bible verse. You know, yes, from yeah from I suppose from the the second epistle of Paul the apostle to 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 Timothy or to or to the Thessalonians. I I'm, I'm not sure. I need to to review that. Um, I, I'm faint, you know. That, that's the word, you know. I, I'm faint, yeah. Um, yeah, it's from the second epistle of Paul the Apostle to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 5. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee which the wealth first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice. And I am persuaded that in thee also. Yeah, so unfeigned basically means sincere and honest. You get the drill, you get the picture. Yeah. Amen, yeah, thank God for granting me this, with this understanding and wisdom. Yeah, let's resume. So um, if he is secure at all points, he um, if he is secure at all points, be, pre be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. If your opponent is of is of uh, um, is of a uh, um, temp te temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. Did I pronounce that right? It's uh, rather new, new, new vocab. But but I've heard it before, you know, in the audiobook version. 
But I didn't manage to re to memorize that. Cleric. 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 Yeah, cleric. Not choleric. Cleric. But the Cambridge um, Dictionary shows a call, um, call, um, you know, uh, an or, an or, an or sound or hot in in its British pronunciation, in its British accent here. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or otherwise. You know, never mind. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to that later, Godwin. Yeah. If your opponent is a Cleric temper. Seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. If he is taking his ease, give him no rest. If his forces are united, separate them. Attack him where he is unprepared. Appear when you are not expected. These military devices leading to victory must not be divulged beforehand. Now the general who wins a battle makes many calculations in his temple. Um, airy, uh, that's an, an, another word that I swear I've seen that in the Bible, but I keep forgetting how, how to say that. Error before all, it, it's, a preposi it's a preposition and or a con conjunction depending on the context. Error air. or air in, in American sense. Air, I sh for, for, um, e example sentence. I shall be back air nightfall. Yeah, I, I'll have to take some other time you know, to, 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 to listen to the audio book uh, again. Yes, I suppose this word or oh, um, such, such word also uh, appeared in some, somewhere in the book of Isaiah, you know, in the Old uh, Testament. Uh, you know, uh, of the Bible, you know, specifically in K, you know, in KJV, yeah. But I, f I forgot, you know, which chapter, w which verse <laughs> exactly, so. Yeah, beg your pardon. Beg your pardon for my poor memory and highly weakened, you know, highly weakened Cognition and intelligence due to my mental condition, shitty, shitty, severe depression, suicidal thoughts, intrusive thoughts, blah blah blah, and the loss of my old man, the loss of my grandma, persecution from that wicked woman, you know, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's it's resume. Nevertheless. Now the general who wins a battle makes many calculations in his temple. Um, error, error, the battle is fought. The general who loses a battle makes but, a f but few calculations beforehand. Thus do many calculations lead to victory, and few calculations to defeat. How much more, no calculation at all. It is by attention to this point that I can foresee who is likely to win or lose. Chapter 2 Waging war, Sun Tzu said, In the operations of war, where there are in the field a thousand, a thousand swift cha um, cha cha um, chariots, as many heavy chariots, and a hundred thousand male clad soldiers, with provisions enough to carry them a thousand lie. L-I, I'm not sure what, what, what that means, just L-I, not, not sure, maybe I'll have to go back and, you know, look, look up the, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the original Mandarin Chinese version, of, you know, <laughs> of the, the other war by Sun Tzu later, yeah, the, the, the expenditure, the expenditure at home, and at the front, including in entertainment of guests, small items su such as glue and paint, and, s and sums spent on chariots and armor will, will reach 
will reach the total of a thousand ounces of silver per day. Such is the cost of raising an army of uh, of a uh, hundred thousand men. So, so here is a is a verse, or I should say, a clause in the in the art of war that mention that mentions you know the importance of money. You know, different. <laughs> So you, you have to have a lot a lot of money in order, in order to well in order to to wage a war although not necessarily in order to win a war you know but you know uh, having lots of funds having lots of money you know um and you know and being able to um to um to secure and procure a stable and constant flow uh, a positive constant a constant positive cash flow or at least a uh, you know a, a, a highly secured reserve of cash of money will certainly you know bolster your your strength and improve chances of winning greatly you know that's for sure don't it doesn't necessarily guarantee a victory you know but you know it will greatly it may, will make you stronger. It will make you. It will, it will make you. You know, hard. You know, hard, harder to get overwhelmed. Harder to be defeated. That that's for sure. You know. But but uh, but th that's merely what I think. That's not uh, exactly Sun Tzu has said or mentioned in, in his book, The Art of War. You know. So let's read on. When you engage in actual fighting, the victory is long in coming. The men's weapons will grow dull, and their ard their ardor or ardor. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. A a r d o r. That's a, such an archaic word. Great enthusiasm or love, yeah. Ar ardor. 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 But in American, um, in, you know, in American a a accent as defined by Cambridge Dictionary, uh, uh, allegedly a, a British one, a British English dictionary, it, 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 it's, oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's you know they they reverse the order you know first the first pronunciation is the U.S. one the other one is you know, the, the 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 latter one is the the, the, the British one okay, this is the American the other is the British oh I beg your pardon I, I thought they they got it wrong but they just reverse the the order they just they they mainly reverse you know the you know their ordinary you know the ordinary order of, you know, of, um, of arranging the pronunciations. Yeah, I beg your pardon. Yeah, so freaking exhausting just to read a book. <laughs> okay, so... Um, when you engage in actual fighting, if victory is long and... If, if victory is long and... If victory is long in coming, then men's weapons will grow dull and their ardor will be damped. If you lay siege to a town, you will exhaust your strength. Again, if the campaign is, per, is protracted, the resources of the state will not be equal to the strain. Now, when your weapons are dulled, your ardor damped, your strength exhausted, and your treasures spent. Other chieftains will spring up to take advantage of your extremity. Then no man, however wise, will be able to avert the consequences that must ensue. Or must ensue. Ahem. <clears throat> Thus, though we have heard of stupid haste in war, cleverness has never been seen associated with long delays. There is no instance of a country having benefited from prolonged warfare. It is only one, <clears throat> it is 
it is only one who is thoroughly acquainted with the with the evils of war that can thoroughly understand the profitable way of carrying it on. The skillful soldier does not raise a second levy, neither are his supply wagons loaded more than twice. Bring、um, bring war material with you from home, but 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 for but for rage on the enemy, for rage. Checking the dictionary to make sure I I I pronounce it right. Forage. Forage. To go from a, from place to place searching for things that you can eat or use. So that basically means supplies, you know. Forage. 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 Okay. In nouns, it means food growing for horses and farm animals. Okay. Forage. Not forage, but forage.、Yeah. Bring war material with you from home, but forage on the enemy. Thus, the army will have food enough for its needs. Poverty of the state,、um, in, 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 in check. What? A, what a, what a book, man! So many unknown words. So many new, new vocabularies. Vote for me. The exchequer, okay. The government department that receives and gives out public money in the UK, in the in the UK, and some other countries.、Uh, okay, it basically means the department of treasuries. I don't know, but maybe、uh, we'll get back get back to that. <coughs> We've got Woodland.、Yeah. Property of the state in Chet in in Checker, in Exchequer, not in Checker, Exchequer, <laughs> Exchequer. Okay. Poverty of the state Exchequer causes an army to be maintained by co- by co- contributions from a distance. Contributing to maintain an army at a distance causes the people to be impoverished. On the other hand. The proximity of an army causes prices to go up, and high prices cause the people's substance to be drained away. <clears throat> when there's <coughs> when their substance is drained away, the 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 peasantry will be afflicted by heavy exactions. With with this loss of substance and exhaustion of strength. The homes of the people will be stripped bare, and three tenths of their income will be, and three tenths of their income will be dissipated, while government ex- expenses for broken chariots, worn-out horses, breastplates and helmets, um, <clears throat> bows and arrows, spears and shields, protective mantles, draught oxen and heavy wagons. Will amount to four tenths of its total revenue. Hence, a wise general make a point of make a point of 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 of, of, of foraging on the enemy. One cartload of the enemy's provisions is equivalent to twenty of one's own. And likewise, a single pick a, a single pickle or pick. P cow P P P I P I、uh, P I C U L. Is it pick? I don't know. I、uh, can't find that word in Cambridge Dictionary. G by G by G by. Never mind. <laughs> His provender is uh, and let's say that as. Pick cow for the time being, and likewise a single pick cow of his provender is equivalent to twenty from one's own store. Now, in order to kill the enemy, our men must be roused to anger that there may be advantage or advantage from defeating from defeating the enemy. They must have their rewards. Therefore, in chariot fighting, when ten or more chariots have been taken. Those should be rewarded who look who took the first. 
our own flags should be substituted our own flags should be substituted for those of the enemy and the chariots mingled and used in conjunction with, with, with ours the captured soldiers should be kindly treated and kept this is called using the conquered using the conquered foe to to argument one's own strength yeah I, that reminds me of, of, of a saying you know from you know from shepherd from C commander shepherd in mass effect trilogy you know you know at the control um at the con at the control um a a a ending you know what once you know your commander shepherd cho chooses to control the reapers instead of you know the the, the other two or three options you know you you will hear him or she saying you know there is um there there is power in control there is wisdom in harnessing the strength of your enemy or the strengths of your enemies you know there is power in control there is wisdom in harnessing the strengths of your enemies by commander shepherd quote unquote <laughs> At the ending of the Mass Effect trilogy, yeah. Basically, you know, I take that, you know, at, at the control ending of the Mass Effect trilogy, Commander Sh Sh Shepard basically becomes a, a Reaper, you know, a, a, you know, a master Reaper that that it exerts his or her sovereignty on the rest of the reapers you know <laughs> yeah but yeah that that's you know yeah that that that, that seems, seems like a, a rather in, in interesting and a bit funny you know an anecdote you know so side 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 no side story yeah but you know not, not it might not spell a happy a happy or satisfactory you know it might not spell a, a, a happy m m much less a satisfactory endings to to many to to many fans of the Ma the mass effect trilogy you know, in including myself you know i i basically you know don't tend you know to to choose the control ending you know, to end my Math Mass Effect trilogy playthroughs. Pretty much every time, you know, I, 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 I finalize my playthrough of Mass Effect trilogy, I tend to choose the synthesis, the, the synthesis ending instead of all the other two or three. You know. Sometimes, may, may, I, I remember maybe once or twice I chose the the you know the destroy i chose to destroy the reapers and, and, and geth and all other you know non-organic life forms you know maybe just one, once or twice i don't remember it exactly but i tend to to choose the synth syn, you know synthesis synthesis and be <laughs> never mind let's get back to the book Yeah. <coughs> this is called using the conquered foe to augment one's own strength. <coughs> your In war, then, let your great object be victory, not lengthy campaigns. Yeah. Finish, do the job. You know that can also apply to 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 business, to to work. You know to to business and work. Um, scenarios or or scenarios, you know, just you know, finish the job ASAP. Don't drag it. Don't you know pro procrastinate unless doing so will greatly benefit you in in the long run. Most usually, you know, I you know, but yeah, but you know, I I, I suppose you know, I, I once talked talk, talked about 
the art of procrastination in you know in, in you know on on, on 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 youtube in my channel but you know yes i maybe we'll get get back to that and you know f further talk 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 more about it a a at another time so yeah um in war then let your great object be victory not lengthy campaigns thus it may be known that the leader of armies is the is the is the um ar is the arbiter of the people's fate the the man on whom it depends whether the nation shall be in peace or in peril that's the end of um, chapter two of the book the art of war by Sun Tzu. okay yeah so maybe we should take a break yes so it's already 40 more than 40 minutes elapsed or passed yeah so so i so i sincerely hope you know that both you guys you know both you and me learned something va valuable you know from this book club f f f from this book reading se session and from this book reading and reviewing s and c commenting session so yeah thank you very much for, for for watching and listening to it and being with me to the end of this filming session so yeah i shall take a break and if god's you're willing um au revoir and until next time hope to see you guys in my next videos on youtube on patreon rumble bitshoot mcdow.tv etc if god's still willing so take care stay safe and yeah until next time au revoir cheers bye um amen take care